let's look at how you can graph some equations given in polar coordinates. We just have four basic types that we want to be concerned with in this course. The first one is if r is equal to a constant. So for instance, r equals 3. To convert this to rectangular coordinates, an equation using x's and y's, first square both sides. You get r squared equals 9. And then remember that r squared is x squared plus y squared. And that's still equal to 9. And that's the equation of a circle with radius 3. That makes sense. r is 3. So the graph looks like a circle with radius 3. On the other hand, we could say theta is equal to a constant, say pi over 6. To convert this to rectangular coordinates, take the tangent of both sides. So we have tangent of theta is tangent of pi over 6. Tangent of pi over 6 is 1 over radical 3. And tangent of theta is y over x. And if we multiply both sides by x, we get y equals 1 over radical 3 times x. That's the equation of a line with slope 1 over radical 3, as you can see here. Or we could have something like r cosine theta equals a constant. Well, r cosine theta is x. So we have x equals 2. That's a vertical line at x equals 2. If we would have had r sine theta equals 2, we would have had y equals 2, so it would have been a, a, a horizontal line at y equals 2. So those are the three basic kinds. And then there's one more that's slightly more complicated. So let me show you how to work that example. So let's graph r equals 8 sine theta. The trick here is that we need to multiply both sides by r. And if we do that, we get r squared is equal to 8 times r sine theta. And notice that helps us on both sides. r squared is x squared plus y squared. And 8, r sine theta, is y. So x squared plus y squared equals 8y. Now this is an equation in rectangular coordinates. But it doesn't really help us figure out what the graph looks like. To do that, we need to complete the square. So first, I'll subtract 8y from both sides. x squared plus y squared minus 8y is equal to 0. And now I want to add something to both sides so that the y terms factor as a perfect square. x squared plus y squared minus 8y. I take half of the coefficient of the y to the first term. So that becomes negative 4, and I square that. That's what I add to both sides, plus 16. And I add it to the other side as well. OK, now y squared minus 8y plus 16 factors. Still over x squared. This becomes y minus 4 quantity squared equals 16. And now, this looks a little more familiar. We have an x minus a constant squared plus y minus a constant squared equals a square number. This is the equation of a circle. The circle has radius 4. r squared is 16, so r is 4. And the center of the circle is the point x0 and y positive because we did x minus 0, so we subtracted 0 from the x term, and we're subtracting 4 from the y term. That's why y is 4. All right, so if we graph this, and this should be entertaining, trying to graph using the computer, y is 4 when you have the center, so 1, 2, 3, 4. There's the center of the circle. The radius of the circle is 4. Now, whenever you have something like this, you're always going to have a circle that goes through the origin. It's going to be centered on one of the axes. So it's going to go through the origin. That makes sense. The radius is 4. And then it's a circle. So pretend like, like that's a circle. And there you have the graph. All right. Well, I hope this has helped you figure out how to graph polar equations. Thanks for watching.